Yay, it's finally recording. <laughs> Maybe. Hello, how are you? Well guys, we're back at our favorite spot. We're here to do another test. This time, it's another comment from a viewer. In order for me to read this comment, I've gotta go back to the back and get Rose and get her set up before we get this started. So let me do that. It feels like it might've got a little bit windier than it was a little bit earlier. I said a little bit twice, three times. Well, today's video has to do with this remote ID module that we've put on our DJI Mini 2s that we got from Holy Stone. This is not a review video on the Holy Stone. I just got a question from Michael. Matter of fact, let me go back to his question. This is my second video for today. I'm not really prepared. Whoops, wrong button. Well, this is not a review video for these remote ID modules from Holy Stone, even though I'm very satisfied with them and what I've gotten for the money. But I got a question from Michael Don and I wanted to address it with a video. Anyway, Michael Don says, since you've installed the Holy Stone remote IDs, I was wondering how far it will be detected on the drone scanner app. Any idea? Great question. That's what we're going to test today. I've got this phone and this phone. This is Rose's uh, drone phone and this is Jack's drone phone. Well, since Jack's still back there taking his nap, we're going to use his phone to use the drone scanner app to follow her around and to stalk her. <laughs> so let me get Rose all started up. Let me get everything going. And we'll get the uh, screen recordings of the drone scanner app up and we'll show you what, what information it displays. I still have to look into the drone scanner app myself and really see what information is there because I, I don't really know. Anyway, this is the Holy Stone remote ID. The way that you turn it on is, is you just hold the button down and it'll start to flash green. Yeah, it'll start to flash really fast green. And when, it, when the blink slows down, that means that it's got its GPS lock. So we're all set. And it looks like we're all set. What's funny is with these remote ID modules, you don't even need to have the drone on in order to get the reading on the drone scanner app, but I'm just getting everything set up anyway. Let me go, go fly. All right, so we've got our feed. Dang, she's already got 15 satellites. Let me get her out on the back of the truck so she can get her GPS lock and so can the rem remote ID. I think it did get windier. Point updated. Rose, I think it got a little bit windier. Let me go over to the Bluetooth, or let me, let me go over to the drone scanner app and see what information we've got. All right, so it's already found the drone. It's already there. Let me click on it and see what information we've got. We've got pretty much pretty general information. It's saying that it's, uh, oh, okay, there we go. Holy Stone, um, there's the model number, I guess, and the registration, whatever. There we go, Use UAS ID. I've got her inputted as DJ Mini 2 Rose. So her information is there. So that's kind of weird, huh? <laughs> If somebody was over there, they, they would know that Rose is flying today. So distance from me, there we go, the status, bar, the status bar area. Distance from me, it says that it's 9 meters away from me. So, I mean, I, that could be 9 meters away from my phone. I mean, it's right back there, so that's no, probably not. My truck's 21 feet long, so probably not quite 10 meters. All right, so let's keep this rolling. I'm going to get Rose started and get her Take up in off. the air and see if she can make sure she Point can hover good. Updated. All right, lower, lower down, Rose. I can't see you. <laughs> All right, so she's hovering pretty good. Let me go to the right and to the left to make sure that she's responding to my controls. Everything looks good. She's sinking slightly, but that's kind of expected sometimes, I guess. All right, so it looks like she's pretty solid there. She's got a good hover going. I'm going to pull the gimbal down a little bit. I'm going to get her raised up into the air. So I'm going to see what information is being read on this, uh, on this module now. It says height still is zero and we are still 10 meters away from uh, from my location. I don't think that's quite accurate. <laughs> so maybe it's not, it says height type above takeoff. I don't know what that means either. Let me scroll down here and see what else, what other information we've got. I don't know what I'm really looking at. All right, so we'll just keep it right there. I'm gonna fly out a little bit. Let me raise her up a little bit more up in the air. Let me go say 75 feet or so. I'm just gonna start to fly out and maybe it'll it'll update in a couple of seconds. So we're going out, let's say just maybe a few hundred feet here and uh, we'll see what it says. Okay, so it says we are still 11 meters away from me. So the, I don't know if it's the drone, if it's the drone scanner app or if it's the um, module itself that's acting weird, but it says I'm only 11 meters away and I'm, I'm 306 feet away from where it took off at. So it's kind of strange, huh? If it continues to act like this, I don't think we're going to be able to test it to see how far away it can be read. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go up a little bit, a little bit farther, and then we're going to continue to go out, and we're going to see if this information may disappear off the screen or what. 
but it's just not uh, it's not reading like I expected it to well, let's scroll down here and see if maybe some more information is down there no it says invalid data for user or operator ID Rose's name is still there it was last seen a minute and four seconds ago what does that mean oh I guess it it has to it hasn't updated itself maybe that's the thing I'm gonna continue to fly out a little bit farther we'll go out a thousand feet maybe the phone needs to be up in the dash in order to get a good a good reading let me let me step out of the truck here real quick and see if it'll get a, a better reading outside the truck I don't think it's going to <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go back to the back of the truck here. Well, this, te this test may be a bust because I'm not getting a very good reading. Well, let me do this. Let me, let me get back into the truck and we'll restart this. All right, I got back into the truck. I'm going to restart the drone scanner and see if it'll update itself. So there are zero drones around me now. It's not even reading it. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if we had a malfunction. Let me get Rose back and we're going to we're going to relaunch. Return to home. Rose, your remote ID module's acting up. We got to do this again. Landing. I got Rose back inside. She's blinking green like she still has her GPS lock. And I'm looking back at the thing again and it says now now it's picked her up. So and it is it is Rose and she was last seen 5 seconds ago. So it's now currently updating itself. It says it was first seen a minute ago, last seen six seconds ago. And you'll see that number uh, reset itself every so often. So let me, uh, let me try this one more time. Let me go back out to the truck and relaunch her. We'll see if we can get a continual reading with her. So last seen three seconds ago. So it is still working. So let me scroll down to the uh, area there where it has her height and everything. It says that she's negative five meter or 0.5 meters in height and she's seven meters away from us so I think she's got a better read this time than she had la the first time let's get her started take off let's get her straight up into the air Home point I know she's reacting to my controls, so I'm not even gonna worry about that part but let's get her up it still says that she's 0.5 meter or negative 0.5 meters let's scroll up and see how long ago she, it was since she's been seen or last seen see it's not it's, oh there we go okay so it's updated let me go back down to the information here it still says that it's 0.5 meters uh, below height or negative height and only eight meters away let me pull forward I'm just gonna go forward maybe 200 200 feet like I did last time we won't go any higher maybe uh, maybe that'll help the uh, the phone read her location let's scroll back up to the last scene 27 seconds ago so it's not updating nearly as often as it should which is kind of strange Oh, there we go. Last seen one second ago. So we know that it re, uh, redid its location. I don't see... <laughs> I just don't see this being very accurate, guys. Which is good for us, right? All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this test a bust. And I think that it's because the drone scanner app just isn't reading the information that's coming in. It knows that it's there. It, it can detect, you know, that the that the remote ID is there. It can it can pick up the scan, but it's just not reading the height like it should. So anyway, let me get this. Uh, let me get Rose back. <laughs> All right, Rose. Well, we know that this wasn't your fault. I'm pretty sure it's the remote ID just not not sending out the right signal. Come on down here. We're gonna have a quick. T oh, look out! <laughs> Almost crashed her. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh, that was stupid. Guys, I would say that Rose did her job perfectly. We're just going to call this test a bust, but we're still going to make the video. <laughs> There's one more comment that I want to address before we close this video out, and it comes from Steve Saunders. He says, fun fact about the Holy Stone remote ID module, at least the one I have. If you're ever worried about it reporting your actual location, turn it on a mile away from where you're actually going to fly. Allow it to achieve GPS lock, and that becomes your home point. If you live in a hilly area, it could show some funky information depending on elevation differences between where it grabbed GPS and where you actually are flying. Drone altitude. Hey, I drink black coffee and I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> that last part you'll get if you watched our 1.13.0 fly app uh, update video. Anyway, that's beside the point. Well, he continues on because I told him that I wanted to try that uh, test out. And he said, I had wondered when and how the modules know where home is. 
So my wife and I were running to town. I fired up the module, tossed it up on the dash. When we got to our destination, I checked on it, and it showed home point as 15 kilometers away. <laughs> That's hilarious. So the remote ID's home point is where it is when it's turned on and connects with GPS. So that's a fun little trick to know. Anyway, I'm not trying to show you guys how to get around the FAA, not by any means. But I do hope that you enjoy this video. Guys, thanks for the questions. Thanks for the comments. I hope that you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless.